थैंक यू सो मच बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सबसे पहले ओम चैंटिंग इन गुरु वंदना से शुरुआत करेंगे गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर् विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरव नम वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटि सूर्यकोटिप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा ओम श्री गणेशाय नम so what i have just done i used a combination of my voice my love my devotion my hands and it is something a process and this process is a ritual and we all have rituals in our lives somebody's ritual is before a presentation to drink a few sips of water pat their face right we all have rituals so when did this term being ritualistic become like an insult when is it that one started disowning rituals it became fashionable to say oh i am spiritual but i am not ritualistic how did this happen well we can go into how it happened and go into the politics of it but that's not the idea that's not the purpose of this session today this session is about reclaiming our heritage and realizing that the ancient seers have given us processes which are brilliant which have such a deep understanding of the human psychology of existence of the universe that they have in simple processes brought about created these systems which can actually contribute to our well being which can actually make us more calm more peaceful more connected happier and my own discovery of some of these in my own life was something that completely flabbergasted me that oh my god something so simple can make me feel so much better just by doing this for a few days and that is when i started delving deeper into this is saying where how did we go wrong what did we do and again i realized that instead of getting more into the politics of it of how it went wrong the more important thing is to bring back and interpret this understanding in the current context so that people can relate to it and people can understand what it is that contributes to our well being so this is a motivational theory in psychology comprising a five day model of human needs which was introduced in 1943 people who are in hr would know about it the maslow's hierarchy of needs which says that at the very bottom of the pyramid the very basic needs of physiological needs then the safety and security needs then the love and belonging needs then the needs of esteem and after that comes self actualization so which are these in the physiological needs are air water food shelter sleep clothing reproduction right safety needs are personal security employment resources health property love and belonging may friendship intimacy family sense of connection you can all see this graph right now this is 1943 and this is supposed to be a very big turning point in the understanding of human beings and in hr um, and management this is a very important aspect this is their go to for deciding on policies for understanding how they're taking care of their people understanding their needs and this in a vedic texts were given as the purusharth thousands of years back dharma arth kaam moksha 
Purush, individual, earth, meaning, objective, purpose. What is it that gives meaning to a human's life? Char Purushat Patai Hamare Vedone, Dharm, Earth, Kam, Moksh. Isn't it beautiful? We have known this all along. It doesn't end there. Look at the connection between modern psychology and the ancient wisdom. We are all aware of chakras. This is a set of people who are cued in and have tapped into this ancient wisdom at some level or the other and are aware that we exist not just as mind bodies, but there are various layers to us, to our existence, that we exist in multiple dimensions, right? And we've all heard about chakras. Look at this. At the very base, the physiological needs are taken care of the, by the Muladhar chakra. Then is the Swadhisthan chakra, love and belonging, esteem. Can you see, as we go up the chakras, the aspects of life that they are responsible for, this is how development of a human being, the evolution of an individual is happening through these chakras. So what Maslow's hierarchy discovered or put, up, put out for us in 1943 is something we have known all along. That brings me to my book. So I dabbled in tarot for, a, you know, it was, I had gone to a friend and she'd done a tarot reading for me and I found it, I was in a state of mind, which was a lot of flux, a lot of agitation, a lot of fear. And I found that it helped me. And that is when I said, there are Greek gods and there are angels. Don't we have any Hindu gods here? And I went looking, I really couldn't find much. And I, as an artist, had been painting deities for many years. And I have this Mitra who's an Aghori Sathu. And I told him, Baba, no Hindu Bhagwan wala taro hi nahi hai. So he said, Tum do. And I said, you know, I wouldn't even think about something like that by myself. And this spiritual leader, an Aghori Sathu in an obscure ashram, in a faraway town, just seeded that idea in me. And after that, the next two and a half, three years, all I was doing was working on this book. And I'm happy to share that this was published a few years back. It's called Avir Bhav, and it has a set of cards with it. The idea of the book actually had started even earlier, but I was looking at it more as a coffee table book. And then I went through this as, why should somebody read a book about deities unless it affects their life. And that is when I thought about these char purusharths which are in our life. If there is any question in our life, any problem in our life, it is covered in At any point of time, any need we can perceive, emotional, psychological, physical, it is covered by one of these. And that is when Instead of using tarot, which is based on Kabbalah, which has the major arcana and the minor arcana and different suites, I came up with this idea of using our deities. And when I say I came up with this idea, I marvel at, did I really come up with the idea or did it happen? That these deities chose to express through me what they felt needed to be expressed. Because I've had this experience uh, I was in office one day, long, tiring day, and I had to paint Kali. Somebody had asked me for a painting of Kali, and it had got, been getting delayed because I was very, very busy at work. I came back home, had dinner, and said, okay, let me start. Ek bar shuru kar dungi to I will make time and paint. Long, tiring day after dinner, I started to paint. And then after some time, just about when I was about to finish it, I felt like a pain in my neck and I looked up. The sun had come out. I was painting through the night. I don't think I have the capacity to do that. 
that is the reason i'm sharing this with you is that ye jo hamara doership hai na ki hum kuch karte hain aur uski hum jo ownership le lete hain wo sahi hai ek samay tak par ek samay aata hai kuch aisi cheeze hoti hain jo samajh mein aata hai ki nahi hum nahi karte bahut kuch hota hai and this space between being or goal oriented being focused working on things with a sense of commitment and the journey to realizing that we are not the doers is pure me the perception of what we do and how we look at it starts changing so jo log kehte hain na we are non ritualistic because they are speaking from a, a certain awareness of the fact that things do just happen and it isn't that we need to look down on those people because there are those who have reached that level ek vedantin ko rituals ki kya zarurat hai agar usse gyan ho gaya use rituals ki zarurat nahi hai par us manosthiti mein pahunchne ke liye we need all the help we can get because as long as like ramana maharshi says as long as you respond to a name somebody asked him ki should we should we pray those of you who are familiar with ramana maharishi know what i'm talking about but those who are not ramana maharishi became enlightened as a young child he was at a family gathering and suddenly he felt gripped by the sense of fear that i am going to die he went and shut himself in a room and he just started observing who is going to die and he started watching instead of being fearful he started becoming an observer of that fear of death and at that point something happened post that he moved to tiruvannamalai at the foothills of arunachala his life is beautiful and his book the discussions that he has had with when people have gone and asked questions sometimes he has people haven't asked in silence they have been answered sometimes people have asked questions and he has answered and the technique he says is about inquiry method of knowing who am i right so somebody once asked him ki prarthana karni chahiye kya puja karni chahiye kya and he said bhagwan ne kya galti ki hai as long as you respond to a name which means you have retained your body mind identity since you have a body mind identity why will you not be respectful of those forces that are supporting your being in the world so there is a time when these things will not matter but to get to that state to get to that space of having that peaceful calm mind where the inquiry can happen where a deep dive and understanding of our true self can happen in order to get to that state there are processes that are available in our great sanatan dharma which can actually make life so much more peaceful so let's understand ki kisi bhi cheez process ko agar ek tarah se bana diya that can be a ritual aajkal dekho na birthday cake ka ritual nahi hai wo kya hai wo how can you have a birthday without a cake aur wo midnight pe kaatne ka bhi ritual banne lag gaya hai so at some point it was exciting at some point it might just become a hurdle to enjoying your birthday because you have to stay up because 12 baje aake log केक काटेंगे और तुम्हें परेशान करेंगे सो द जर्नी फ्रॉम वेन समथिंग हेल्प्स टू वेन इट इज टाइम टू लेट गो ऑफ इट देर इज नो बडी स्टॉपिंग अस फ्रॉम यूजिंग आर विवेक सो इंस्टेड ऑफ सेइंग आई एम नॉट रिचुअलिस्टिक व्हाई नॉट फाइंड व्हाट रिचुअल हेल्प्स अस इन आर करेंट स्टेट एंड वेन वी हैव बीन हेल्प दवाई खाते हैं ना जब तक सिर में दर्द होती है गोली खाते हैं उसके बिना अगर गोली खाते रहेंगे तो फिर वो क्या हो जाता है सब्सटेंस अब्यूज हो जाता है 
right? To know this, to have the sense of discrimination. Because we lost that sense, this word ritual became like a bad word. It isn't. And that depends on us, the level of awareness we bring to something. We were talking about chakras. Look at how the location of the endocrine glands and the chakras. Can you see? I mean, this is how intelligent our Asians were and how deeply rooted they were in understanding of life, of understanding of the physiology, the anatomy of not just the physical body, but the etheric body as well. So we understand that well-being is about nourishment on the level of understanding, compassion and balance for all bodies, physical, mental and emotional. But what a ritual does is it adds another dimension to it. The dimension of energy, the dimension of the spiritual understanding. And that is why a ritual helps. So let's start. Is there, does anybody want to share any ritual that they do and we can look at the scientific understanding behind that? So I just uh, wanted to say that, uh, you know, I understand to some extent what you're saying because of having gone through these phases where, you know, starting from a Christian school and then questioning why we do havans when my parents started to understanding why we do them, then becoming intensely ritualistic and then, you know, finding a balance after I started meditating. Where now I uh, related to what you're saying, energy. So um, for me, you know, offering water to the sun is uh, is something I I really connect to in the morning. Lovely, lovely. lovely. That was actually the one ritual I wanted to talk about, and oh, it's good. beautiful <laughs> that you you brought this up. So arg dete hai na subah pani. Yeah, yeah, and. इसके ऊपर एक मजाक भी है कि अरे तुम्हारे खेतों में पानी नहीं पहुंच सकता यहां से देखे तो सूरज को पहुंच कैसे पहुंच जाएगा हम फिजिकल और मेंटल लेवल पे ये सूर्य के लिए नहीं कर रहे अपने लिए कर रहे हैं एथरिक लेवल पे हाउ द सन गेट सपोर्टेड उसकी बात बात पे करते हैं पर एट द लेवल ऑफ आवर एग्जिस्टेंस एंड आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ आवर सेल्फ्स व्हेन वी आर डूइंग दिस अभी विटामिन डी तो आजकल ऑलमोस्ट एवरीबडी इज ऑन टेकिंग सप्लीमेंट्स देर इज नो अदर वे हमारे पूर्वजों को सप्लीमेंट्स लेने पड़े थे विटामिन डी के इतनी डेफिशिय थी उनकी उस समय पे वो बिना सनस्क्रीन के बाहर निकल जाते थे और हमारी दादी चाची इतने सुंदर उनके कंप्लेक्शन होते थे बस पकड़ के और रिक्शा लेके धूप में आते थे फिर भी कभी कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होती थी राइट right? so, सबसे पहले जो अर्घ देने का जो रिचुअल है उस सूर्य उदय से पहले उठना पड़ता है स्नान करना पड़ता है बिकॉज यू हैव टू हैव अ बाथ बिकॉज वाई इज दैट देर इज रीजन फॉर एवरी स्टेप इन दैट रिचुअल सूर्य उदय से पहले उठना पड़ता है स्नान करना पड़ता है बिकॉज योर स्किन इज After a bath, it is soft. Its ability to absorb is better. It's moist, right? And I don't think anybody can say that skin is not affected. If it is not the whole cosmetic industry is not working on skin care, if it is not affected by putting something on the skin, then it is not affected. And then when you go, you go bare feet. You stand bare feet. Bare feet, where the sun will shine down. उसके लिए थोड़ा तो घास पे से चल के जाओगे सुबह सुबह ग्रीन कलर की का प्राण तुम्हारे पैरों के अंदर से जाएगा एक अदर अनदर लेवल ऑफ क्लेंजिंग इज हैपनिंग एनर्जाइज हो रहे हो एंड देन व्हेन यू लुक एट द सन यू हैव टू लुक एट इट थ्रू द वाटर दैट यू आर पोरिंग हाथ उठाए सारी रात सोए हुए थे थोड़ी एक्सरसाइज शुरू सुबह सुबह हुई विच इज गुड फॉर हार्ट हेल्थ right and when you pour the water you look at the sun through the water not through not directly but through the water and what is happening pyramid effect hota hai when light comes to a droplet of water it breaks down into the vibhya and that is being absorbed by the body 
हर चक्र इफेक्ट हो रहा है लुक एट द बैलेंसिंग दैट इज हैपनिंग एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड देन यू आर ऑल्सो डूइंग अ चैंट इट कुड बी आईदर अ सूर्य का मंत्र और इट कुड बी द गायत्री मंत्र राइट समझ के भी कर रहे हो या बिना समझे कर रहे हो असर तो हो ही रहा है समझ के करोगे तो बेसिकली यूर मोर प्रेजेंट मोर अवेयर पर बिना समझे भी अगर कर रहे हो लाइक बच्चे को बचपन से माँ ब्रश करना सिखाती है स्मॉल चाइल्ड नो ब्रश करने का क्या फायदा है बट हैविंग डन दैट सिंस चाइल्ड हुड अ पर्सन विल हैव बेटर ओरल हेल्थ बिकॉज लिसन टू द मदर एंड ब्रश द टीथ एवरी टाइम एवरी एवरी नाइट बिफोर गोइंग टू बेड right that is how a ritual works but the same person if the person has some gums ki problem and keeps insisting on brushing the teeth vigorously will have bleeding gums which is where the ritual has gone wrong because the presence the awareness that is required the understanding that should have come with a certain age has not come is that the fault of the ritual or is this is that the fault of the practitioner right So, अब सूर्य का मंत्र सुबह अगर किया अब देखिए हम लोग किस तरह से चैंट करते हैं दैट ऑल्सो वी हैव स्पेसिफिक चैंटिंग टॉट फ्रॉम द यंग एज विच एक्चुअली हेल्प्स पीपल द मेक्स इट मेक्स द मोर निम्बल द माइंड मोर निम्बल बिकॉज साउंड इज सच अ पावरफुल फोर्स आज लो, लोगों के डोरबेल होती है राइट गायत्री मंत्र की ओम समटाइम्स इट्स सो श्रीकी इट कैन एक्चुअली इरिटेट यू राइट एंड इफ इट चैंटेड प्रॉपरली हाउ डज द गायत्री मंत्र को ओम भूर्भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेम भर्गो देवस्य धीमही Dio yo na prachodaya at. Can we feel the vibration, right? So it's not just about doing the ritual; it's about doing it right. It's about knowing when to do it, when to stop doing it, when to add something else. A video on the effect of sound. Look, look at the look at look at the effect of sound. ji uh, i had a question that uh, i have seen my mother doing one mantra while getting up on the bed karagre vasate lakshmi kar madde saraswati kar mule sidhe gauri prabhate kar darshanam and then you know uh, touching her eyes face and then getting down from the bed so just wanted to understand the rationale behind it if you have any inputs dhanyawad aapne apni mummy se pucha ji wo bole ki ye acha hai isme humko जो माता है लक्ष्मी माता सरस्वती माता इनको थैंक यू बोलते हैं सुबह और फिर थैंक यू बोलने के बाद चेहरे पे लगाने से शक्ति मिलती है एंड देन गेट डाउन स्टार्ट योर डे इन दैट वे दैट्स व्हाट शी टोल्ड मी हाउ ब्यूटीफुल नो टू बी एबल टू आप ये देखो उनका ये बिलीफ कि उनको शक्ति मिलती है उसी से कितनी शक्ति मिलती होगी उनको तो ए, किसी भी रिचुअल के एक लिटरल एस्पेक्ट होता है और एक वो एस्पेक्ट होता है एनर्जी दैट वी प्रोवाइड टू इट क्या बोलते ना मानो तो मैं गंगा ना मानो तो बहता पानी एंड टू बिगिन द डे अब देखिए हम लोग को जब मंत्र जाप भी करने के लिए बताया जाता है तो मंत्र के जाप से पहले थोड़ी देर के लिए अपने ब्रीदिंग पे प्राणायाम करने के लिए कहा जाता है राइट right? थोड़ा सा ध्यान करते हैं और फिर मंत्र का जाप करते हैं पावर ऑफ साउंड का तो वीडियो आप भी हमने दिखाया आपको उसमें पावर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी के सामने मैं फेल हो गई और मुझे जाके वापस आना पड़ा पर साउंड इज सच अ पावरफुल थिंग द वर्ड्स हैव द साउंड हैज एन इम्पैक्ट वाज़ अ स्टोरी अबाउट वन गुरुजी टीचिंग हिज स्टूडेंट्स अबाउट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ वर्ड्स एंड वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट सेड अरे ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है हाउ कैन वर्ड्स हैव एन इम्पैक्ट एंड द गुरु जी सेट 
तू तो इडियट का इडियट ही रहेगा एंड सडनली दिस पर्सन वॉज वेरी अपसेट सो आफ्टर वाइल गुरु जी आस्ट हिम वॉट है आपने मुझे इडियट कहा अच्छा नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट वर्ड्स का होता है वो समझ में आया पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट नहीं हो सकता राइट इट इज देर इज अ वर्ड देर इज द पावर ऑफ द वर्ड्स and there is the power of the faith and our belief that we imbue in those words and that has a multiplier effect to aapki mata ji devi ka naam subah se pehle samay mein hota nahi tha ke bachcho ke naam apne bachcho ke naam bhagwan ke naam se rakhe jate the taaki jab hum jaane lage hain hack tha that was a life hack a death hack ki agar apne hamare bete ka naam keshav hai aur hamara हृदय उसमें है अटैचमेंट उससे हुआ पड़ा है तो केशव केशव बुलाएंगे तो सच में कान्हा आ जाएगा राइट right? सो so, आपकी माता जी को शक्ति मिलती है ये मंत्र का जाप करने से इससे बड़ी बात और क्या हो सकती है आजकल कोविड के कारण ऑल ऑफ अस मोस्ट ऑफ आर वर्क हैज बिकम ऑनलाइन एंड सिंस पीपल कुन ट्रेवल and we have one has been having zoom calls and whatsapp calls and face time with people across the world who have one hasn't seen for couple of years connection hota hai na wo pyar kam to nahi ho jata of course personally milne ka jo hai uski ek apni jagah hai to jab hum kisi devi ka mantra kisi devta ka mantra ka jap kar rahe hain to hum us shakti ke sath connect kar rahe hain that is our wireless connection with that particular energy ab wo usko hum ek pratima ke roop mein dekhe ya kisi symbol ke roop mein dekhe wo to hamare upar depend karta hai ki hamara apni manusthiti ka kya hai there can't be one right answer or one same quantity which will work for everybody you know i mean there is a thyroid hai इसका मैल फंक्शन होता है किसी में ज्यादा प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है किसी में कम प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है जिसमें ज्यादा प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है उसको उसको कम करने की दवा लेनी है जिसमें कम प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है उसको बढ़ाने की दवा लेनी है राइट right? कितना इजीली हम ये एक्सेप्ट कर लेते हैं ना पर हमारा जो यूनिवर्सल कनेक्शन है उसमें वॉट विल वर्क वॉट कैन वर्क द इंसिस्टेंस दैट ओनली वन थिंग विल वर्क हाउ कैन दैट बी राइट so each one of us has to find the ritual that works for us and not just find that ritual but through the practice of it over a period of time if it no longer works find something else that works further neuroplasticity jo bolte hain if you speak to somebody so what are the things that are required one physical exercise that is one mandatory that there should be a lot of physical exercise it is very important the other is to be aware to be alert and the third is to keep learning new things the problem happens when we get stuck in something and say this is all i will do and this should have the desired result even if you go to the gym for a workout over a period of time the trainer will add further new exercises aaj glutes ko workout karna hai aaj isko workout karna hai and jab workout shuru karenge ek naye part ka usme ek discomfort hoga that is how the neuroplasticity goes up right why is it that our expectation from something which is our relationship with the universal that should stay the same always and we cannot accept that we all have to grow with life no and something which worked once may not work anymore but that does not mean that that system is wrong it does not mean that it is it just means that i no longer require it bachpan mein cursive writing se sikhte na dots laga ke uske upar likh ke sikhte after a while when you know then you are able to write without those dots does that mean that dots have no purpose they are required for those 
who are now learning to write. And this is the perspective we need to bring to understanding our own rituals. So right from the morning, so aapne shuru kiya surya ki puja karna, surya ki aradhana karna, aage jaake surya namaskar shur dijiye. Surya namaskar ko aap khali agar ek asana or exercise ki tarah karte hain, aage jaake usme mantra bhi jod lijiye. Har asana ka usme ek mantra hai. आप देखिए किस तरह से आपके ओवरऑल एनर्जी लेवल आपकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग हर चीज में विस्तार होता है राइट आई हैव अ लिटिल रिचुअल व्हिच आई डेवलप्ड ऑन माय ओन आई डू माय लिटिल फ्लावर्स इन द मॉर्निंग एंड आई बर्न इन सेंस एंड सो आई डोंट नो द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इट एक्सेप्ट वी आर दैट इट हेल्प्स इन माय वेलबीइंग सो इट फ्रेग्रेंस फ्रेग्रेंस इज एन एनर्जी एंड इट विल टच your requisite energy center to aap dekhiye uh, why do you think the perfume sell why is that market because women and men who are interested in attracting a sexual partner what are they trying to do they trying to titillate that person with this particular fragrance right so it is touching their swadishtham chakra which is why they getting the desired response so similarly if you if you have chandan it is going to impact your higher centers the rose fragrance that impacts your anahat chakra right and jo tilak hum lagate hain right ek to aapne yahan pe chhua agya ko to aapka pineal gland kisi level pe impact hua plus yahan pe hum jo bhi lagayenge आगे चक्र क्या है यूनिवर्सल रिसेप्टर है यहां पे हम जो लगाएंगे उसकी जो क्वालिटीज होंगी वो आपके अंदर अब्जॉर्ब होंगी आप यहाँ चंदन लगाएंगे आप अंदर से ठंडे और शांत हो जाएंगे आप यहाँ पे भस्म लगाएंगे आपके अंदर वैराग्य आएगा क्योंकि सब कुछ भस्म हो जाता है ना सिल्क हो लकड़ी हो सब कुछ भस्म हो जाता है ना वैराग्य आया ना अब केसर लगाएंगे वॉट अबाउट कुमकुम कुमकुम इज शक्ति शक्ति वाई डू थिंक वेमेन वेर कुमकुम और क्यूट तिलक करके भेजते हैं लड़ाई करने के लिए शक्ति राइट right? अब उसको आप स्टिकर वाली बिंदी लगा के वो गोंद एडहेसिव अगर लगाएंगे वहां पे तो दाने नहीं होंगे तो क्या होगा फिर आप बोलते कि अरे आई कान पुट बिंदी क्योंकि मुझे दाने हो जाते हैं अरे मतलब सेंसिटिविटी है दाने हो जाते हैं बहुत अच्छी बात है मत मत लगाओ तिलक लगाओ मत लगाओ कोई बात नहीं यू गेट वन आई एम सेइंग सो ईच वन हैज टू फाइंड व्हाट वर्क्स फॉर देम जब आप मंडल की बात कर रही थी तो जो रंगोली और कोलम करते थे घर के बाहर वो चावल के आटे से बनता था रात तक क्यों खत्म हो जाता था क्योंकि चीटियां उठा के ले जाती थी खा के देखो मतलब कैसे रिचुअल्स हैं क्या आपको सिर्फ आपको नहीं पूरे जीव जंतुओं को सस्टेन करने के खाने से पहले थोड़ा सा खाना निकाल के रखा बाहर चिड़िया को डालने के लिए हमें सिखाएंगे इको फ्रेंडली होना लोग इससे ज्यादा इंटीग्रेटेड कौन सा सिस्टम है बताइए मुझे यू हैड जस्ट आस दैट क्वेश्चन दैट वॉट इज द रिचुअल्स दैट यू ऑल फॉलो सो बिसाइड्स द नॉर्मल यू नो पूजा वगैरह में जो होता है बट दिस वन थिंग विच इन फैमिली वी हैव ऑलवेज डन जैसे कभी भी कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट ओकेजन होता है तो वी ऑलवेज हैव कर्ड शुगर जैसे कोई जा रहा है या एग्जाम हो रहा है तो उसका सो वो मुझे वैसे एक्सप्लेनेशन दिया गया है फैमिली में कि ये प्रोबायोटिक के लिए होता है बिकॉज इट कीप्स योर स्टमक गुड बट फिर भी आप एक्सप्लेन कर दो तो इट बी गुड एक माँ को बताओ सबसे बड़ी फिक्र क्या होती है कि बच्चा खाली पेट चला गया घर से बाहर प्रोबायोटिक भी गया दही और चीनी में काब गया तो एक अलर्टनेस आई राइट जब भी इंपॉर्टेंट काम के लिए जा रहे हैं प्लस द फैक्ट दैट दिस रिचुअल हैज टू बी डन there is a 
इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एनर्जी दैट हैपन्स एक सेंटर्डनेस हो जाती है उसके कारण यू नो बच्चे भाग रहे हैं हड़बड़ी में एग्जाम है एग्जाम है मां बोलती रुको रुको दही चीनी खाए बिना नहीं जाना सब कुछ वो जो एक फ्रेजल सी नर्व होती है ना उसमें एक पूरे एक इंटीग्रेशन आता है फॉर अ सेकेंड द मदर्स एंटायर एनर्जी इज फोकस्ड ऑन फीडिंग द चाइल्ड द चाइल्ड इज प्रेजेंट इन दैट मोमेंट लुक एट जो नर्व होती हैं वो खत्म हो जाती हैं कैन देर बी समथिंग मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन दैट आज की तारीख में आप काउंसिलर्स से पूछो एंग्जाइटी इश्यूज आर द ग्रेटेस्ट इश्यूज दैट पीपल आर डीलिंग विद एंड वी हैव सच सिंपल फॉर्मैट्स टू टेक केयर ऑफ दैट बिफोर समथिंग इंपॉर्टेंट uh we have something called a vagal tone are you all aware of that ab dekhi koi jeevit hai ki nahi wo janne ke kya tarike hain ek uski pulse check ki jati hai ek wo saans le raha hai ki nahi to saans ka aur hriday ka koi connection to hoga right so there is this thing called the vagal tone if there's a doc any doctor here they would know and they may probably be able to explain much better than me but what happens is when we inhale our heart beats faster when we exhale it slows down and this difference between the heart beat between the two is called the vagal tone the larger this difference is the better it is it means basically the body has the ability to come to rest a body which is agitated and in activity has the ability to come to rest when it needs to because most of the problems of anxiety this this particular session is for rituals for well being no so anxiety is obviously something which is eroding our sense of well being right so most of these problems happen because the body does not know how to come to rest and pranayam is such a beautiful non intrusive manner of ensuring that because the sympathetic or parasympathetic nervous system ka balance hai agar wo aa jaye jeevan mein to physical level pe mental level pe ekdam se insaan shant ho jata hai balance pe aa jata hai jab zarurat hai tab एनर्जी है लड़ने की और जब जरूरत नहीं है तो शांत हो गए राइट सो एंड द फैक्ट दैट द ब्रेथ इज एक्चुअली आवर कनेक्शन विद आर एथ्रिक इट इज द ब्रिज बिटवीन द अन्यमय क्वेश्चन द प्राणमय क्वेश्चन सो इट इज एक्चुअली इंपैक्टिंग ऑल आर नाडीज इन चक्रज एंड bringing balance there as well right so kisi bhi mantra acha mantra jap karne se pehle isliye pranayam karne ke liye batate because aap center ho gaye right uske baad jab aapne mantra jap bhi kiya ek to aap jis deity mein aapki aastha hai unhi se related koi mantra karenge aur wo mantra jap bhi ek mala ke sath kyun taki awareness rahe aur usme bhi kya hai कि मेरु को लांगते नहीं है तो आप जो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग मैकेनिकल विद इट दैट पॉसिबिलिटी इज डिमिनिश्ड बिकॉज यू आर गिवन अ पर्टिकुलर रूल अबाउट इट सो इट इज अबाउट अंधविश्वास कि मेरु को लांगते नहीं है दैट इज द वे ऑफ एक्सप्लेनिंग कि नहीं मोस्ट पीपल से ना नहीं नहीं गलत होता है चिल्ड्रन टेन टू पुट देर हैंड द फिंगर्स इन टू प्लग होल्स राइट so baby proofing a house is all about making sure ke bacche ke height pe kuch aisa plug hole rahe nahi jisme wo ungli dal sake aur phir kya karte hain bacche ko darate hain na because actually finding out ki kya ho sakta hai is worse than scaring a child about putting his finger into the plug hole right so हमें जो स्ट्रिक्चर समझाए गए हैं द फैक्ट दैट उसमें कोई फियर का एलिमेंट डाला जाता है वो इसलिए डाला जाता है ताकि हम ऐसी गलतियां ना करें जिनका इम्पैक्ट जो हमारी बॉडी पे होगा वो हमें बाद में पता चले बिकॉज ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वी मे मेक मिस्टेक्स विच कॉज प्रॉब्लम्स इट 
one of my issue with rituals was ki why is it so why is there so much fear mongering but fear mongering is for bachcho wali level ke liye i could never complete the hanuman chalisa bit because it would always put me right to sleep in the middle of doing it and otherwise i would you know keep worrying about something or the other have issues with going off to sleep i'm talking of a few few years ago and now for the last few few years i start my hanuman chalisa and just go right off to sleep so is it the astha does it affect one of our chakras how does it exactly work because i think it's like jisko kehte hai na ramban it works wonders yeah so किसी के लिए हनुमान चालीसा उनको जगाने का काम कर सकती है आपके लिए सुलाने का काम कर रही है किसी के लिए उनको जगाने का काम कर सकती है सो इट लाइक आई सेड ईच ऑफ आस इज यूनिक इट डज बोथ फॉर यू वंडरफुल राम बाण तो मिल गया आपको राइट सो इट इट डिपेंड्स अबाउट द लेवल दैट वी आर ऑपरेटिंग फ्रॉम it depends about what we need at any given point of time because see the intuitive intelligence of the body is just right if we can allow that to take over but for that there has to be a certain centeredness and balance so what the mantra does what the ritual does is it gets you centered because it's like if if the water um i i think i heard osho speak about it once he says ke hum log kya karte hain har cheez ko individually handle karne ki koshish karte hain har problem ko individually handle karne ki koshish karte hain and he the um analogy he draws is that there is there are waves on the ocean and we are trying to calm each and every wave the wave actually is because of the effect of the air which we can't even see but when you go into the depth there is no wave there it is still so you can either try and calm each and every wave or you can go to it within yourself and then the intuitive intelligence takes over and things will get impacted and for you your relationship is with hanuman so for somebody it might be might be with lord shiva for somebody it might be with the devi for somebody it might be with narayan for someone it might be with krishna narayan ke bhi to kitne swaroop hain right so when we are part of sanatan dharma there is this understanding that only my way or the highway to humme se koi kar hi nahi sakta तो रिचुअल में भी देर आर सो मेनी एंड ईच मतलब आप ये देखो हर फैमिली के अंदर कोई स्पेशल डिश होती है जो उनकी होती है अगर पॉटलक पे जा रहे तो इसके घर से तो ये आएगा और इसके घर से तो ये आएगा बिकॉज दे आर नोन फॉर समथिंग लाइक दैट तो इसी तरह हर एक इवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिचुअल समथिंग विल वर्क फॉर समबनी समथिंग विल नॉट वर्क फॉर समबन एंड दैट्स ऑल राइट माई क्वेश्चन इज इन एक्सटेंशन टू की that uh, i have been trying to meditate for like i don't know how many years 12 years maybe more and every time i sit down to meditate either i go into a trance or i sleep and i do want to stay awake i do want to hear the words in when you go into trance i i know that there is something going on they are talking but i don't understand the words and the moment this is now you can open your eyes i open my eyes so it's not that i'm really sleeping but it's a kind of you know semi conscious trance i can't make out the words i can't understand i do want to understand it's been 12 years i'm unable to get over this hmm ek to ye meditation fashionable ho gaya hai na why do you want to meditate come to the root because again i want to understand who am i i want to go it go through that method that the teacher is explaining yeah so when I mean, whichever method your teacher has explained uske bare mein to aap sawal unhi se pooch sakte ho par मैं आई कैन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल अष्टांग योग में ध्यान कप है यम नियम आसन प्राणायाम प्रत्याहार धारणा ध्यान समाधि ध्यान से शुरुआत होती है क्या नहीं 
कुछ लोग हो सकता है कर सके ध्यान से शुरुआत क्योंकि उनके संचित कर्म क्या है उनके प्रीवियस लाइफ टाइम्स क्या था वो कितने अंदर से मझे हुए हमें नहीं मालूम पर हम अगर उससे कंपैरिजन करने लगेंगे तो कोई फायदा नहीं है माय सन फॉर एग्जांपल ही इज अ नेचुरल म्यूजिशियन वो जोन सा इंस्ट्रूमेंट उठाता है उसको बजा लेता है ही इज बीन लाइक दैट सिंस चाइल्डहुड नॉट एवरीबॉडी इज देयर आर सम पीपल हु कैन स्पेंड अ लाइफ टाइम एंड नॉट लर्न टू प्ले अ म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो एक तो आई वांट टू मेडिटेट डोंट से आई वांट टू मेडिटेट फर्स्ट आर्टिकुलेट द क्वेश्चन आल्सो प्रॉपर्ली सेइंग व्हाट इज इट दैट आई वांट maybe meditation is not your path maybe vedant is maybe you need to do more shravan right now shravan manana nidhi dhyasan vedant pe bhi jaogo to seedhe nidhi dhyasan pe nahi chale jate shravan aur manan chahiye pehle right so there are so many ways available my experience has been that if i went back to our roots and found the systems there and try to learn from somebody in that who's an expert in that it has worked better for me and if you if you read jay krishna murthy if you ask him i want to meditate and he will continue questioning you and then then he will say is this not meditation why is meditation only about silence it could be an inquiry that is happening between two people at that moment so instead of saying i want to meditate articulate is what is it that i want it might just be i want to feel more peaceful it might just be i want to feel more energetic and the ways to both might be the same or different but at least let's articulate the question before i can ask who am i why do i want to know who am i is there some is there some unrest that i have is there unhappiness that i have that i am not being able to get rid of and i assume that once i get to know who am i it will go start yeah. small in my case my conscious entry back into the spiritual level at some level was due to a physiological problem i i had become asthmatic i had a lot of emotional issues i later realized that the emotional issues are what were manifesting as asthma and over a period of time with pranayam and regular dhyan i realized some 7 8 months later ke maine to bahut samay se asthma ki dawai nahi khai the body took care of itself the moment i started taking care of the root issues and getting to the those and using the processes that would help me take care of those immediate issues the deeper issues started getting settled thank you anuji uh, i just have since everybody is mentioning rituals suddenly three four popped up in my mind uh, this is actually my mom in law she does these uh, i don't know different uh, rituals that she follows like if she's uh, if she's putting three rotis together then she bite a small piece out of it and then pack it and then put it in the uh, for if she's packing it for somebody or something parathas ho gaye ye ho gaye and then i'll always ask her why you bite off a small piece or you break off a small piece she says 3 is not a good number so if somebody is asking for 3 then break off something and uh, then give it and then the second thing she does is on thursday she doesn't eat anything that is yellow uh, like bananas or uh, yellow dal or this so i asked her what was the reason for that then she said because my uh, parents have been doing it because everybody else has been doing it and then after some time she told me that it's actually on thursday you do um, you do puja of kele ka ped or something like that so you're not supposed to eat it that day plus she uh, she uh, instructs the maid not to wash clothes on thursday and the third thing i saw that in on rakhi or something if uh, my husband would go to his sister's place to tie or, i mean she would come then the, to tie the rakhi then there will be a chane ki dal and uh, uh, rice ki khichdi that has to be given with curd so these are three four rituals uh, that she follows and i really never understood except the thursday wala uh, thing very nice so abhi dekho uh, you go to a dietitian and they create a diet for you it is it is about uh is din ye khaya hai agle din ye khana hai agle din ye nahi khana hai 
the dietitian knows if you are trying to lose weight which are the way which foods will um react in what manner to help you lose weight right ki agar aapne um chila khaya ek din besan ka to phir uh, us din pe they will not give you paneer or some such thing i mean i don't even know but the point is a nutrition expert who, to whom you go with an agenda of weight loss will give you certain things in a certain manner which you may not know only that nutritionist knows because that person has studied and educated himself or herself and has expertise and specialization in that field and can help you lose weight right did you know that there was actually a study which said that instead of dieting all the time fasting twice a week is more effective in weight loss एंड हमारे सनातन धर्म में बहुत जमाने से इस चीज का रिवाज है कि अरे मंडे का और थर्सडे का फास्ट कर ले और ये शुक्रवार का फास्ट करते हैं और ये एकादशी का करते हैं सो दैट फास्टिंग इज बीन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ आर कल्चर अब उसको नवरात्रि का फास्ट और कुछ भी नहीं करते जो वो नवरात्रि में व्रत रखते थे और नवरात्रि में सारे जो नहीं रखते वो दो दिन या जोड़ा तो रखते ही रखते थे तो साल में दो बार तो व्रत रखते ही रखते थे उसको हमने हल्दीराम की थाली खानी है व्रत वाली बना दिया वो हमारी गलती है बट दीज वर एक्चुअली प्रोसेस दैट वर गिवन टू गिव आवर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम अ ब्रेक अलाउ आर माइंड ऑल्सो टू पॉज बिकॉज देर आर सर्टन वेन यूर फास्टिंग देर आर सर्टन एक्टिविटीज यूर डूइंग एंड वेन यूर डूइंग सर्टन एक्टिविटीज इट मीन देर आर सर्टन एक्टिविटीज यू कैन नॉट डू आई थॉट अ लॉट अबाउट दिस थर्सडे का फास्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल थर्सडे का फास्ट ऑल्सो इज विदाउट सॉल्ट एंड थर्सडे का फास्ट अक्सर ना एस्ट्रोलॉजर्स आपका चार्ट देख के बोलेंगे कि आपको ना थर्सडे का फास्ट करना चाहिए इनवेरेबली थर्सडे का फास्ट उन लोगों को कहा जाता है जिनके अंदर कहीं पे गुस्सा ज्यादा होता है जिसके अंदर गुस्सा ज्यादा होता है विच इज वट इज द डिजीज दैट पर्सन इज मोस्ट लाइकली टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हाइपर What is the first thing when your BP goes up? The doctor tells you to do reduce salt, right? So Thursday ka fast to is very effective then. So is tarah har jo ritual bana hai, wo kisi karan se bana hai, and uska ek context tha, uska ek lifestyle wo follow kia jata tha. Thursday ko jis agar kapde nahi dhulte the, to us din कपड़े धोने से आराम मिलता था अगर लोग शेव नहीं करते थे थर्सडे को या ट्यूसडे को तो उस दिन उनके दाढ़ियों को थोड़ा रेस्ट मिलता था उनका स्किन को थोड़ा रेस्ट मिलता था सिर नहीं धोते थे तो उस दिन थोड़ा रेस्ट मिलता था थिंग्स विच वी नाउ डिसाइड अबाउट आवर लाइफ स्टाइल बेस्ड ऑन आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बट देर आर दोज हु डोंट हु नीड टू बी डिसिप्लिन and for them these rules and regulations may be important so there is a certain structure which is like a skeletal structure and there is a certain amount of flexibility that is allowed and the within the bandwidth of rigid structure and complete flexibility all of us find ourselves at some point or the other and some amount of structure works for us some amount of flexibility works for us and each person is unique and therefore they will find that which works most for them ab aap dekho ekadashi ka fast that is the longest 36 hours aur ekadashi ka fast rakhne se kehte the ki umr badhti hai and we used to laugh about it and dismiss it still some time back somebody got a, a nobel prize because the person discovered that when you somebody fasts for 36 hours it creates a process called autophagy in them which is the process of the healthy cells eating up the unhealthy cells therefore actually the person has been renewed and that enhances the life span of the person because the unhealthy cells have been devoured by the healthy cells because a minimum of 36 hours of fasting has been done ab dekhiye hamare ancients kitne samajhdar the 
they gave us ekadashi ka vrat eons back just because kisi ne interpret karke hame samjhaya nahi aur humne bhi patience nahi rakhi janne ki because we were too busy trying to be seen as modern which to us at some level was about disassociating from and dismissing things that were about our culture our rituals abhi breath work karke fashionable ho gaya hai i saw the other day wo kaan pakad ke murga banane ko power yoga or not some other yoga not power some other name because it says if you pinch the person's ear the person becomes brighter pehle kaan marodte the na teachers bachcho ke jo bacche budhu hote the because it it was not meant as a punishment it was something that will work on the nervous system and enhance the person's mental faculties abhi covid ke time pe a lot of people lost people who were close to them and obviously the that grief that had to be managed right and so there are grief circles and meetings happening for that we had so many rituals which what were they i must share with you something very personal here uh after i got divorced in fact let me go back even further when i got married i had no belief in any of these things i mean i i was the classic rebel dismissing um uh, you know all these uh, rituals and having no faith in them so i said i would rather have um um court wedding then have the regular hindu wedding but my mother in law thankfully god bless her soul wanted a regular hindu hindu wedding so i said okay but i still want the court wedding or we had our court wedding because i felt ke jo pandit because of the caricatures of pandits that i had seen over the years through hindi cinema and others did not instill any sense of reverence or respect for them you know and that was all that uh, that was my exposure i did not have any other exposure to them so therefore i was like i don't want and then years later when i got divorced and i remember thinking start standing in the court room during my divorce saying ki jis shaadi ki shuruaat court mein hui thi uska ant bhi court mein hi hua but that i'm not saying there is anything wrong with the legal wedding a uh, civil wedding that is not the point i'm making the point i'm making is civil wedding to khatam ho gayi shaadi to khatam ho gayi court mein jaake divorce ho gaya 7 years after my divorce my ex husband passed away suddenly unexpectedly and it impacted me so greatly it impacted me so much he was he was not only divorced from me he had married someone had a child and it's not even that we were on talking terms or anything we weren't we weren't like uh, discussing or talking on the phone or anything nothing of the sort no relationship really except for the fact that there would be some coordination about the children are going to meet him and the children are coming back but yet his death impacted me so acutely that for a few days i could no longer see color when i opened my wardrobe all i saw was sepia tones and gradually as color started coming back into my vision it would hurt me and i'm a very bright colored person i have all reds and greens anybody who's seen my paintings knows i'm very fond of colors you can see a painting right behind me right now i was a divorcee who had lost her ex husband there is no process available to go through that to process it 
बट दैट इज वेन आई अंडरस्टूड कि सफेद साड़ी क्यों दी जाती है पहनने के लिए क्योंकि रंग काटते थे मुझे अब उस सफेद साड़ी को हमने अगर एक प्रतीक बना दिया ऑफ लैक ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट तो हम लोगों ने जिस तरह से इंटरप्रेट किया वो हमारी गलती है आवर एंशियंट डिड नॉट मीन दैट एट दैट पॉइंट दे वर पीपल हु वर डिसमिसिव अबाउट वॉट आई वॉज गोइंग टू सेंग वॉट इज रॉन्ग विद यू बिन डिवोर्स फॉर सो लॉन्ग Why are you behaving like this? But I was hurting. Whether it was valid or not, that pain was real, and that is when I understood having these rituals, which are related to the death of a person, how meaningful those are. How they aid your being, your coming back to yourself. as a counselor i have seen a lot of times a lot of problems people are facing when you go to the root of it they would have anxiety which is unexplained panic attacks all kind of stuff but when you go when you talk with them for a while and go down to the root cause they would have lost somebody close maybe a back and they did not grieve adequately because they do not follow those rituals anymore because it's all about being coming back to work in a few days and being all right it is not all right if you've suffered a huge loss it is not all right and if there are rituals available which may seem at that point you don't even know what they mean but it does make sense to follow them to a certain extent because they will help you heal from within so haven is one that i want to quickly address and uh, again the non believer that i was and <laughs> I, i i would be cracking up during a haven not knowing what to do till i understood what a haven really is and after that i felt so engaged so involved and once you're engaged and you're involved and you know what you're doing took on a different dimension altogether and i was uh, seeing the videos um uh, i think an astrologer who has done a video on haven very nice video um we need to find those rituals that resonate with us that we connect to and we can make it our own just like you may have a dadi ma's recipe that has been handed down to you and over the years once you become an expert in that then you can tweak it to reflect your own version of that dish so if we could understand a haban also in the same context so to begin with just the act of sitting with a fire in front of us that itself creates a certain vibe inside and then when you do the mantra chanting and you invoke the deities and you make an offering to them now how does it work all the shaktis there is one omnipotent divine force that is running the universe no doubt about it but so there is an md sitting somewhere running on that md is in everybody it's an organization but within the organization there is somebody who is responsible for um marketing somebody who is responsible for finance somebody who is responsible for technology and those people take care of those aspects of the organization so similarly in the universe there are different deities who take care of different aspects and in haven is an opportunity to invite them and to offer our love our gratitude and strengthen their energies their forces within that just like you would treat people who are coming home for a meal create your menu and when you create a menu what will you do you will try and cook the dishes that that person likes and these higher forces 
बिफोर यू इन्वाइट दम ओवर किसी को घर पे बुलाते ड्रॉइंग रूम ठीक करते हैं ना नया वाला टेबल क्लॉथ डालते हैं टेबल के ऊपर क्वेश्चन अच्छे वाले निकाल के रखते हैं सो यू सेट अप अ मंडला एंड देन यू सेटअप हवन कुंड एंड देन यू ऑफर यू विल ऑफर जो उनको पसंद है ना उनकी पसंद की चीज ऑफर करोगे ना सो अगर बगला मुखी मैया को बुला रहे हो तो पिताम्बरी माता है तो आप कच्ची हल्दी डालोगे उसमें और अगर आप काल भैरव को बुला रहे हो तो आप अलग तरह की सामग्री डालोगे राइट right? और उसी हिसाब से आप मंत्र का जाप करोगे जिसको बुला रहे हो जब स्टेज पे कोई आता है तो उनके बारे में पहले बताया जाता ना कि ये कौन आए हैं उनका नाम लिया जाता है और कई बार होता है हम कोई इवेंट करते हैं somebody is passing through and they unexpectedly decide to come into your event and you realize are this person has come you immediately find something which with which you can honor them so sometimes it happens you sitting in a havan and you decided ki hum iska havan kar rahe hain aur bar bar ek particular deity ka thought aana shuru ho jata hai ya unka mantra aana shuru ho jata hai which means that deity is letting you know that the deity has come in that vicinity and you must offer something to them these things happen with experience these things you understand we can sit read a book and keep saying ke aise left hand ko leke jao aise right hand ko leke jao aur aise stroke karo aur swim karenge but eventually you have to get into the water and learn the steps and then let go and then swim so same with rituals if you are somebody who's already following certain rituals see if it is serving the purpose that it was meant to see what you can add to it you remember neuroplasticity you need to do new things add to what you're doing if you're somebody who never did any rituals and because of this talk maybe felt slightly inspired to tentatively test this rich culture that we have pick up some simple rituals and start doing them and see what difference they make in your life and don't dismiss anything without giving it enough time but experiment explore because our ancient seers were phenomenal the beauty is nobody patented anything they didn't call it so and so method so and so process they just left it for generations to come to discover and benefit from it let's make the best of it let's revive in our own lives and if you are at that stage where you don't need rituals good for you but there are those who still need them so don't be dismissive of them help them find what can help help them find what will work for them and all these rituals have been shared by people because they have found that these work for them that is why they have shared them it is not just theoretical but having found them remember one has to go beyond them eventually that is as important it should not become something that binds us because the ultimate purpose actually the primary purpose is moksha but one cannot understand that moksha is the purpose till one has been through the exploration of the other purushats i will close with mera ritual hai jab main shuruaat karti hu to guru vanda ganesh tuti ke sath and close i do the blessings wala and the purn Yeah. Allah mantra because that gives the sense of closure. Sarve bhavant sukhina, sarve santu niramaya, sarve bhatrani pashyantu, ma kashchit dukh bhag bhavet. ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मा मृत गमया
ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾರ್ಥ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಚತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓ